fun challenge of figuring out if I'm in focus or not. I think I am. If I'm not, it's my own fault. Don't know if you can tell, but I've now had to change cameras to my vlogging camera, which actually I prefer because uh, I can see properly. Um, because I'm not a proper YouTuber, so I never charge my batteries. So after I finish filming this, that is exactly what I'm going to go do. So, hello, how is everybody? I have my cup of tea here, and it says happiness in a mug, and that is very true. My friend Danielle got me this for Christmas like two years ago. She got me a hot chocolate set, and I love it, absolutely love it. This is, still got it, Danny, still got it. Um, so I thought I would do a quick update on everything. I thought I'd do a big life update and a bit of um, things that I've been loving lately. I have a little bit of a cold, hence why I keep rubbing my nose. Um, try not to do that in this video, I promise. But yeah, I thought I would update you on everything. So let's get going. So I said I would definitely update you all on how it went in Spain. Just to let you know, I had an amazing time. Spending time with my niece and nephew in such a small intimate place was amazing and I just loved it so much. I feel like you're on an angle. Let me just move you around slightly just to stop the stretch. <laughs> oh that's better. Then you can actually see my desk as well. Oh lovely. So we went for a week, went to a villa. I have explained all that before in my previous video uh, but if you haven't watched that I will link it below. Um, so that was really fun. I did a whole vlog, as you have seen at the beginning of this video, and I will link it here as well. There'll be a little pop-up here for you to go have a look at. I had so much fun. Like, honestly, I enjoyed it so much. I then came home, had a lot of kind of like mental health issues, so I was kind of feeling quite shitty in the end. Not so great, but it is what it is and be dealing with that and then finally feel like 100% feeling like myself again which is amazing and I love that feeling so much. quite like the light in here as well but when you have your phone here not so good. It's really funny you could tell when someone's on a nap and you can't send a message. I feel like all I've done is go on my phone. Okay I'm back you've got my attention. I haven't really got much to update you on. Um, I applied for a, I applied for oh my actual god. So oh my god. So basically today I thought it'd be really funny to get my friend Danielle, who I've already mentioned in the video, to take over my online dating profile on Bumble. So if you watch this and you have think you've been speaking to me in the recent days, it hasn't been me, it's been my best friend, one of my best friends, Danielle. Oh my god, and she's like gone crazy and if you can see that light in the profile five seconds I apologise, but I put it on silent now. But yeah, so... I went to apply for a job in a different department where I work and then due to mental health issues I decided it wasn't for me, I shouldn't be making that kind of decision when I'm not in the right frame of mind. Um, so I ended up not going for it in the end. Um, the reason why I haven't really updated you a lot from Spain is because I did a whole vlog on it and I was going to do like a whole talky vlog but most of the time I just spent kind of just sitting around the pool, playing with the kids, having fun, you know. Not really doing much hence why I just did like a short video where it can have the highlights on it and um, there was so much more I could have put in it but I just wanted to make it as short and sweet as possible just due to the fact that you know it's mainly for me and the people that went my family and Phoebe um, but yeah so that is kind of an, the reason for that I feel like I'm talking a thousand miles an hour I haven't made one of these in such a long time I forget how to do it story of my life um but yeah so those are like the main two, three updates I've had bad mental health issues I have um been to Spain I enjoyed it and I almost applied for a different job in my work update on my love life um it's been interesting to say the least since I last updated you kind of on that subject um it has been very interesting. 
in the sense that a lot has happened but at the same time a lot hasn't happened i don't want to go too much into it because i know that the person does actually know of my youtube channel i hope they're not subscribed to it i mean i know my youtube account so so i know if they have i doubt they have i don't want to go too much into it i met someone through a dating app and basically we kicked it off and went on a date and then that just seems to be it i'm not really going to go obviously into it into great detail however that's all you need to know also there has been someone kind of flitting in and out of my life for a couple of months now um which i'm actually tempted to do a video on just for the fact that loads of people enjoyed my update uh, a lot of people enjoyed my crush on my gym instructor i think that's my popular video let me have a look my most popular video is Dun, dun, dun. Okay, it's my third popular video. My most popular video is the Lottie Tomlinson review. And then it's a vlog that I did three years ago. And then it's Crush on My Gym Instructor, which has 721 views. That's popular for me. But my most viewed video has 5.6k views. So I'm doing all right in the world, guys. I'm doing all right. But I am tempted to do like a sit-down video like this and kind of just talk about... Obviously not in detail, I'm not going to give it away, I don't know who around me kind of watches my YouTube videos, maybe in secret, so I'm obviously not going to name names, I'm not going to be specific on where they're from, I will be specific about things that they've done and said and things like that, however if you would like to see that give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment below, um, I am more than happy to do another embarrassing crush video where it's all gone wrong, um, basically I have nipped the bud in that is that the expression in that one recently because i just cannot be bothered with that in my life i feel like it's mentally physically emotionally draining and i don't need that in my life so yeah there's a guy that i really liked and that's the guy from the dating app um and it just seems to have gone wrong it seems i opened up my heart and then all of a sudden it wasn't good enough i kind of was really honest and Seems like they didn't want that. I don't know. I, I don't really know what's happened. It's quite recent, so obviously, I'm still. I, I could upload this and then everything's changed, but who knows? So that is kind of everything to update you on, apart from in November we're going back to Ireland because it's my nephew's second birthday. How is he too? And um, I don't know if I've mentioned this yet. Um, but I've deleted a lot of my vlogs, or I haven't deleted them, I've put them on private, just due to kind of wanting privacy. Um, my brother, my sister-in-law wanted a little bit of privacy, didn't really want the kids on YouTube, which I th she's fine with this because she could barely see them. Um, but yeah, so if you've noticed that, I don't know if, I doubt you will have done, but um, that's the reason why. So yeah, that is my life update right now. I thought I would also incorporate, because this is going out on the 1st of October, my current favourites, and I thought I would do that in this video. So one of the first things I wanted to talk about is this. This is, well, what is this? You're about to find out, okay? This is basically, at the front it's a purse, and inside, it's a freaking file of facts, which is mine and my best friend Phoebe's dream. We saw this in the airport in Alicante and we both looked at it and I thought, oh my God, and Phoebe was going to buy it and then she decided not to. And then I online bought it like straight away and it came to my house a couple days later and I was like, oh my God, I love it. And it's literally my life at the moment. I'm very bad at updating it what is new um but yeah so this is one thing that i have been absolutely loving and i will also leave a link down below if you are interested in it and you're a bit nerdy like me and my best friend another nerdy thing that i have been loving is this this is a little desk organizer at the top it says i am really organized i absolutely love it because it has three different types of post-it notes and one says you could do this one says one one at a time and then they have like little uh sticky tab things and then it has my favorite part which is but first make a list and it's a list pad and i love it oh my goodness i use this all the time i'm using these at the moment for all my food shopping when i'm doing that um 
and I make a lot. I make two a week. I make one for my mum's and one for my dad's just because obviously my dad needs to do the shopping for the week and I'm currently on like different meal plans and making up different health eating. I try to get my shit together. That is literally my life. So this is from Paper Chase. Obviously the none of this is sponsored. I'm just letting you know. This is from Paper Chase. I absolutely love it. And yeah. The second one I got, ho oh, oh, ho oh, there's a second one, is this one. And this is again from Paper Chase because I get all my stationery from Paper Chase. And this basically has a lot more mainly sticky tabs, which is what I'm going to use for my book. Because as you know, I am writing a book. If you didn't know, where have you been? And this, you can't see it. This thing here has my life and soul of my book right now. It, I love how this looks like I have a tan, but I actually don't. How depressing. Um, yeah, so it has, right, how we ready the tabs. So it has action, research, must do, urgent, need this, love this, remember, take no. So I am gonna use these for my book because I like stuff like this. I do a lot, and I mean a lot of research. I do a lot of love this, need this. I do a lot of must do and urgent. All these I basically just do. And then it has two different types of just little squared sticky notes here. And then obviously it has a uh, list pad bit. The only thing that annoys me about this list pad is that it is in grid. See what I mean? And I'm just not about that life. So, yeah. So that's the only thing I don't like. But at the same time, I'm not mad. I like the rest of it. And I will still make lists. So it's fine. And that is another thing that I have been loving. I've also been loving this cup of tea. Makeup wise, I thought I would do a little bit of that because I'm great like that. Let's have a look. So this is my bag. Have I ever shown you my makeup bag? Joanne got me this for either a birthday. It was for birthday because we went to cake all. I feel like, I feel like that's right. At the moment I have been loving these. This is obviously again not a spawn. So this is Rimmel Match Perfection. And I have two different shades. I don't know if you can really tell the difference. But one's quite light and one's quite dark-ish. So when I came back from my holiday, I did have a tan, believe it or not. Um, so I was using True Ivory and it was like the perfect shade. But I felt a little bit self-conscious with it. Like it was too orangey or too warm toned for me. So I also had Light Porcelain, which is usually my shade. Um, and yeah, I mixed two pumps of this, one pump of this, put it together and, and and it became like a great shade for me. Now that I kind of don't have a tan anymore, I'm using two pumps of this and one pump of the True Ivory. As you can see, it's not a bad match. I don't mind it, I ain't mad at it. But I have finally gone back to this. I used to wear just light porcelain and I swear to God, it used to be a lot lighter than this because some of my old Instagram pictures, I look like a ghost, but I was also next to the window, so that might be why. I feel like I've discussed this before, but I might as well go through my makeup bag into all the things I really, really enjoy. This, obviously, Soph from Soph Does Nails. Loving both of her lipsticks. I got cake and this is syrup. This is like such a gorgeous nude. Let me just, oh, let me become a beauty vlogger for a second. So this is the shade, syrup. Okay, and this is a swatch. It's just such a nice nude. I feel like when I had a tan, this looked 10 times better. I prefer cake. I don't know what it is. I'm pretty sure, well, I'm 100% sure it's in my bag downstairs, hence why I don't have it here. Um, the next thing, actually, I might go get it just because I need to go get something else that is in my bag. So hold on. I'll be nice. How annoying. Wasn't able to find either of the lipsticks I wanted to talk about. So I wanted to talk about cake, but I can't because it's not here. I think it's at my mum's. I think I know exactly where it is at my mum's as well, which is really annoying. And the other thing I wanted to speak to you about was Jeffree Star. I am obsessed with Jeffree Star at the moment. Like, I'm constantly watching his videos, constantly doing everything, and I've been obsessed with celebrity skin. I really want to get Mannequin. That is my next purchase. Um, that is like the most bougie I've ever bought, kind of, even though it's only 16 pounds in the UK from Beauty Bay. Absolutely loved it, absolutely obsessed with it, but I have been loving it, so. Another thing that I actually have been loving, which is surprising considering the fact I've only just got back into it, is I got this, my diary. Look 
at this. I have a section here where I can add loads of stuff. So I like to look back at this. Like, I have when I went to go see Dad and Phil. And we was in row 18 in the upper circle. 14. Also another life update. I did become a godparent recently to my third godchild. What was a godparent? Never a parent. That's weird. Um, I literally am the next Bridget Jones with the thousands of godparents that I own. Godchildren. Another thing that I have been loving are in my ears and these are some hoop earrings. Very simple thing that I've been loving. But they were a pound for Primark and look how big they go. Like Khloe Kardashian says, the bigger the hoop, the bigger the... Exactly. My mum stole like the, the smallest ones. These are like the second to smallest and I've been wearing them every single day for work. They're only a pound. Cannot go wrong. You know what I mean? In regards to like non-physical things, I have been loving... Um, Netflix a lot. <laughs> Can we get into Netflix for a second? Oh my god. So, to all the boys I loved before, The Kissing Booth, Sierra Burgess is a loser. Those three. Let's rank them from one to three. One being the highest, three being the low. Okay, I can't even do that because I absolutely adored The Kissing Booth and then I absolutely adored To All The Boys I'd Loved Before. So try to choose between them two is my favourite. It's ridiculous. Sierra Burgess is definitely the one that I least liked. I thought it was cute, but at the same time I was a bit like, mmm, it's alright. Um, wasn't really great about how it ended. I'm not going to say anything to get into it, but Sierra it turns, turns, she turns. And I was just like, that ain't something that's just gone like that overnight, hon. You've been thinking that the whole time. But yeah. So, if you want to talk about that, discuss it in the comments, whatever. Um, but yeah, I I don't know. I think I probably preferred to all the boys I loved before. Only because, fun fact about me, let me go get it. I knew what the, what the concept of the, of the film was about, so I kind of got a gist of it. But me and Phoebe watched it on holiday when we had like a little movie night. And it basically talks about when she gets intense, really intense in a relationship, like in into someone she writes a letter like obviously I'm not going to show you them and that is how I start mine and I am currently writing one actually which is two days old that I haven't finished because it's stressing me out but yeah and I think that's probably the more relatable one for me however I absolutely adored the kissing booth like <laughs> come on um my favorite music at the moment I would say I don't know, I just kind of like a little bit of everything. But yes, and that is my video over. Yay. If you would like me to do a video, a separate video, all about my best friend takes over the app, then let me know by giving it a big thumbs up and comment below. Danielle, you do not count. And um, two, if you want me to do a video all about the guy that I was talking about earlier, let me know because I have a lot I can say about it. It would be, trust me, a rant. A rant, okay? I am, oh, so annoyed that person. And three, I also want to say I'm trying my best to get back on YouTube, make a comeback and update more often because I have a few ideas. I want to kind of make this into a lifestyle thing. I want to cooperate with my blog. I have a big collab. Um, basically, I want to do some recipes. I want to do some like, I want to do a room tour. I've got a new room. Well, I haven't. I've got, I've decorated my room. I say I have, my dad has. And I want to show it off. Um, yeah, I just kind of want to update you on my life. I want to do a bit of fitness. I want to be do a bit of this, bit, but that. Just want to update you, but I'm also every time I upload here, I will be uploading on my blog. So all the things that I've talked about in my favourites that are actual physical copy, I will be putting pictures up and descriptions more on my blog, um, which again is just down below. And yeah, if there's anything else that you would like me to do, just leave me a comment. All my social feeds are down there. And yeah, that's it. It's a long ass video. It wasn't meant to be a long ass video. But that's me. I promise next video will be short. I promise. Okay, thank you so much for watching.